aspects. I hope that, you know, every year we now don't see the government bring in these trailers and tell people you have to wait a long time. Staffing challenges and respiratory illnesses are fueling a surge of visits to the Alberta Children's Hospital. In response to that reality, Alberta Health Services is installing a heated trailer outside the hospital. They say it will serve as an additional weight room to ease patient overflows. This should be a signal to us to hold politicians' feet to the fire to say, what are you doing so that we don't need these trailers, so that we don't have people waiting outside? According to AHS, the Alberta Children's Hospital has seen a 20 to 30 percent increase in recent emergency visits. On November 25th, inpatient capacity at the hospital hit 100 percent. While extra space was created in the form of field hospitals due to an increase of inpatients when COVID cases peaked, the trailer suggests a different need. The bottleneck now really seems to be waiting to be seen in the ER, whereas, for example, before we had bottlenecks with people waiting for ICU beds or, or those sorts of things. So just different pressure points in the system. The Children's Hospital is also working on other site initiatives, including a six-bed observation unit. In regard to the heated trailer, United Nurses of Alberta President Heather Smith is worried about scaring people away. There is concern that this will, in fact, um, discourage parents uh, with sick children who really should be taken to the emergency department uh, from going there. The trailer is expected to be operational in early December. In a statement to City News, AHS said no matter where a patient is seen at the hospital site, they will always receive appropriate treatment. In Calgary, Tate Lake Craft, City News.